Welcome back everybody to Icarus. I am an old guy gaming and in this episode we are going to try the 600 Rin uh, sandbox construction mission in the desert. The assembly don't trust anyone, but they need help. They're getting ambitious, but need some equipment set up by someone who knows what they're doing. They'll let you know the setup. You just gotta build it for him. Sounds easy, right? All right, so basically um, they want a fully powered base to operator specifications, construct a forge area. Um, I'm assuming that means I'm probably gonna have to go all the way to the, uh, well, at least to the generator, maybe even electric forge. But that's not a bad thing because um, then we can also um, scan for uh, exotics. Uh, so when it's all said and done, you know, we're making 600 coin plus all the exotics, which we can now, uh, with the, uh, week 13 update exchange for coin, which is a really nice feature. Um, so let's give this a try. Um, hopefully I, you know, depending upon where this is, I can maybe do, um, a base in, uh, the riverlands, um, or maybe even in the forest if it's way to the South. Um, but we'll see how it goes. So yeah, this is going to take a while. Uh, we have seven days to do it, but, uh, let's go ahead. Yeah. And get started on it. Okay. Here we go. And we have, uh, our usual loadout here. I'm going to take, Hmm. This gives us physical resistance. This gives us cold, which we're not going to need, but it also gives us a food slot. So I think we'll take this one anyways. And then I've got, you know, my typical loadout here uh, over on this side. All right, so let's confirm loadout and get her done. We'll go down and see, you know, where, where, where we need to build the base. And then I'll have to kind of determine at that point um, where I, at least where I should start from. We're definitely going to want to go up into the Riverlands or down into the forest at, if for no other reason, just to get some... Uh, yeast and some of the other things you can only get uh, in those biomes. Whether or not we actually base up there kind of depends upon where we land and how far we have to go. Oh, good. We're in the Riverlands. Okay. Working with the assembly is a smart bet. And they're moving faster than anyone out here. They're moving deeper into Icarus every day and need to grow their base network fast. They're asking for fully functional forward outposts. So get your tech sorted, check your map, then head out. Okay, so, um, yeah, we're kind of, kind of far northish, but not like crazy far north. Well, almost damn near crazy far north. Um, and this is where the build site is, which is not crazy far south into the desert. Okay, well, then I think what I'm going to do is work my way south till I get uh, to the entrance to the desert. And then um, what I might do is, is actually go all the way here first and see where it is. If it's near, you know, one of the oases in the desert, it might ultimately make sense for us to, to do the base there. Um, I don't know. I'll have to just kind of see. And, and uh, you know, I'll bring you guys back, of course, with an update um, as we progress. All right. See you guys in a while. All right, guys. We are approaching the build site. Um, this is actually... A, there's actually a cave right here. I've stayed in it before. So that's useful. Um, okay. How close are we? We are... In the area, uh, I think we can build anywhere in the in the circle. Actually, now that I think about it, because we did the the pyramid one and the canyon lands um, quite some time ago. I haven't actually reached the location though yet, according to the quest. So, um, whereabouts are we? Kind of right in the center here. Do they want us to go down below?
Hmm. I don't know why the quest isn't updating. Oh, here we go. Okay, so this isn't a huge cave, but it's... I mean, I, I've actually based in this cave before, but not, not for a real long mission. I don't know if I'm, I don't know if I want to do a cave though, especially later on when we really start getting a bunch of equipment. Um, you know, and this cave by itself obviously is not going to be able to supply us with everything that we need either. Uh, we are, we're not too terribly far from the Riverlands, so we could theoretically, you know, make a base here. There's no water nearby, but we could, you know, put a put a rain catcher thing down for that purpose. Um, you know, and then we'd have, I guess it kind of depends though too on where all the caves actually are. Um, I don't know of any caves down in through here. I know there's one like up here and there's a bunch, you know, even further away. And then there's three here in G7. If the game let it, would let us travel through this, uh, passage here, then the ones in G7 would, would definitely be viable. Uh, so, I don't know. I'm, I'm gonna have to think about this. Um, it basically wants us, yeah, it wants an electric furnace. Okay, so we, we're going all the way, you guys. <laughs> uh, electric, de yeah, dehumidifier and machiny bench. Okay. So, um, let me think about how I want to approach this. I mean, you know, having a base in the Riverlands is gonna be better in general. It's just that we're gonna then have to truck everything down here to, you know, fulfill the quest. So, yeah, I'm, I, I need to give this some thought. And um, anyways, I will bring you guys back with an update later on. Uh, and hopefully at that point, what is this? That's a gold vein, I think. So that, that's useful to have that right there. Um, anyways, yeah, when I, uh, when I bring you back, I should have made a decision on how I'm going to approach this. Okay, so I'll see you guys in a bit. All right, so it looks like uh, this cave will count um, as the build location uh, because I just put a machining bench down and I got credit for it. So that being the case, uh, there's no point in me spending time and resources building an actual building um, when we can just do it in here. Um, excuse me? Free uh, epoxy delivery? Is that what this is? Oh, I've got uh, pneumonia. <laughs> there we go. I've got some uh, stuff in here to fix that, though. And uh, one of the things I have to make is a dehumidifier anyway. Uh, but I might make the, the tier 2 or tier 3, whatever it is, the cheaper one first, just so we don't have to keep messing with this pneumonia business. Uh, but anyway, um, yeah, so that decides where the actual base is going to be for the quest. It's going to be this cave. Um, however, I have very little copper in here, so I'm going to have to do some off-site, <clears throat> excuse me, off-site refining for sure um, to get all the copper and stuff I'm going to need to make this work. So we got a lot of running around to do, but that's okay. Um, I kind of knew that was going to happen in this yeah, uh, either way, you know, we could have could have built the base closer to mines and done everything there, but then we would have to run everything down here, and so I, I think we're just going to stay here and run back and forth a few hundred times. Uh, all right, guys, that's it for now. I will bring you back with an update later on. Bye. All right, guys, I'm back with an update. Um, I am in a cave over here in E9, and look what's inside the cave. Found an exotics uh, vein. This is the first exotics vein that random exotics vein I should say that I have actually found which is really cool um but I am uh, I, I'm getting really close uh, to making the fabricator I just need some more basically you need some more copper and just a little bit more gold uh so I wasn't planning on bringing back quite this second except for I wanted to show you uh, that we found that exotics and now that I think about it I probably should have waited till I made the freaking uh oh what's it called uh, titanium pickaxe before I mine that I would have gotten a little bit more but that's right I don't think it made it's gonna make that much difference so anyway yeah I'm mostly after copper right now I also found 
another cave here in uh, right about here I think it is in in D10 and it's an enormous cave I mean it is so big that I got lost and then it took me quite <laughs> some time to find my way back out uh, but it's just the it's like an almost an underground ecosystem it's so big it's it's by far the largest cave I've seen in this game um, so at some point I will show that uh, cave to you guys we'll go in there um, but I'm gonna mine uh, this one out now um, focusing on the copper right at the moment because that other cave I mean it's so big you guys you wouldn't believe how big it is if you've never seen it before uh, and it's got or uh, all the different orbs all over inside of it so Anyway, uh, mostly I just wanted to show you that exotic, and uh, I'll bring you guys back for another update here in a little while. Bye. All right, guys, I'm back, and uh, this is the location of that giant cave that I told you guys about. And so I thought I would bring you back and just kind of show a little bit of it to you. But, I mean, this place is huge. It's absolutely enormous. And it goes way down there and... I, I literally got lost in here and it took me, I don't know, probably 15, 20 minutes to find my way back out. Um, but I mean, it's got bushes in here and sand and it's like a whole nother biome almost, an underground biome. It's just so bizarre. Um, I thought about even maybe making the lamp, um, the biofuel lamp, just because it has more range than the lantern does. So we could see a little bit better in here. But anyway... Um, I'm here for copper mostly, uh, and aluminum actually, I need those two things. I cleaned out that other cave that I showed you guys, except for it does have a little bit of um, of uh, coal left in it. So we can go grab that if we need it. Uh, but right now I just need a little more copper in order to uh, finish the fabricator. So yeah, it's uh, this cave, cave is just, just enormous. Absolutely hands down the largest cave I've seen in this game so far. And, uh, you know, it goes way down there, and um, I was, uh, my character was, like, way over in, in this area on the map. I mean, it spans multiple grids is how big it is. Uh, it definitely goes into E10. It might even go down into E11 and D11. I'm not sure, but just crazy. Uh, so, anyway, yeah, I just want to show that to you, and uh, I'm going to keep gathering uh, copper and aluminum and... Um, get uh keep working on this and once i get the fabricator built and kind of get started on tier four i'll bring you guys back with an update at that point see you in a bit all right guys i am back um it's actually been a few days in real life uh, since i last played i had to go on a unexpected trip uh but i am now back and we still have a little over two days to f uh, finish this prospect uh so let's see i've been um I've been playing for, I don't know, about an hour or so before I started the recording after I got back from my trip and I went and got another load of copper. And so I uh, got uh, copper cooking up in here and I picked up some more aluminum and titanium and stuff. And there's even still more in that um, that enormous uh, super cave, I guess we, we I, I might call it, you know, that I think I showed you guys earlier. I remember it's been a, few, a couple days again since I've been gone. So... Um, we ha now have enough electronics uh, to make the electric furnace. I've already made the me material processor. I can't remember if I did that on the last clip or not. Uh, but let's go ahead and make this now because that's one of the actual requirements for the quest. Uh, direct requirements. Plus we need it to uh, make a few of the other things that the quest wants us to do. Uh, but we're getting close now. We are getting close. Uh, because I've spent all of this time, I think I told this to you guys too, but uh, because I've spent all this time grinding uh, all this stuff out, I am going to go ahead and make um, the survey stuff too so we can uh, find some exotics while we're here. All right, let's just put that there and then uh, we'll grab the... Oh, construct and... Okay. Construct and power an electric furnace. Gotcha. I was kind of trying to figure out why isn't it uh, giving me credit? Um, so let's power it up. There we go. Okay. So let's put that back in there and it says it doesn't have any power. Is that just because it needs stuff to smelt? Let's grab all the rest of the copper out of here. Activate. There we go. Okay. We got credit for that. 
So now we need to make two uh, directional work lamps and a an electric de, uh, electric dehumidifier. Um, okay, let's make the dehumidifier first, just because then I'll stop getting freaking, uh, you know, uh, what's it called, pneumonia. All right, so we're gonna need 35 more electronics for this. Um, that's not terrible, not 60 anyways, we'll put it that way. Um, and we have four, so basically we need to be able to make 31 more electronics. And it looks like, um, so we're gonna need 93 more copper, but we still have more cooking up. Uh, we're gonna need a little more gold, which I have, and I'm, we should be able to make some more organic resin and epoxy as well. So let's actually grab the gold out of here. And we'll put that in there. Okay, so that takes care of the gold requirement. Uh, we're gonna need epoxy, so let's see. I made some more sticks in here. Let's put all of these in here. Well, we can't. Um, we got too much other stuff in here. All right, let's get this out of here, this out of there, that out of there. I don't need, whoops, I don't need to make any more poison um, stuff. I've got plenty of it. There we go. Okay, so now we're gonna crank out some tree sap. And uh, yeah, I've got like almost 30 poison. We'll never, we'll never use those, like never. Like, never, ever, ever, never. Uh, okay, so, yeah. Let's see. So, we'll wait for that to finish processing. Now, we'll turn all of this into epoxy. 25 more. All right. And then, let's just see where that gets us. Actually, here. Let's make another batch of tree sap. What just happened? Oh, we leveled up. Okay. We are level, f f well, it, now it says level 50, but if we were continuing on, I bet my dude would be something like 125 now, close to 130. Uh, anyway, how many of these can we make? 12, okay. So, it looks like, once again, epoxy's going to be the, all right, because it wants two per. Uh, we're going to need more organic resin, too. Okay, so that gets 16, so we're almost halfway there. Let's make another round of epoxy here. And do I have any wood left? Yes. Let's grab a thing of wood and throw that in there and make some more of this. Okay, and then we'll throw this in here. This allows us to make four more. Now we need more of the resins. Okay, let's just grab those 50. Oh, and we need more copper too. Okay, so is there any copper left in here? A little bit. Grab that. Okay, you're not doing anything at the moment, and you're still working on copper. Uh, let's take a little bit of that and put it back in here so we have a couple of them working at the same time. You are still working on platinum, it looks like, so. Oh, actually, I don't want you to cook up any more platinum. There's no need to. We can actually use it to make the composite paste. That means you're no longer smelting anything either. Uh, so let's split the stack in half and throw you in here. So it's going to be close. I hope we have enough copper. I don't want to go on another mining run, but if we have to, there still is more copper in that super cave. <coughs> All right, let's just grab whatever's done and go back over here. Okay, how many more now? Seven more. So that gets us uh, seven... Uh, eight. We need eight more to finish out. Okay, so what are we short? Epoxy. All right, let's go make some more epoxy. Um, I'm going to take some more of this and maybe a couple more of these out of here, too. Just trying to see if we can get this knocked out without having to go in and do any more gathering. I still might have to, anyways, to make the you know, the scanning equipment, but let's get the quest finished first. That's the important thing. Uh, okay, sap and 
We've got plenty of sulfur, so that'll get us seven more. Man, we just need... Okay, here, grab those and those. Yeah, that's... We're going to be one shy. Okay, so... Um, we're going to need more of these. Let's just grab some more of these. I can always make more of that. I've just got to go get some more wood. Uh, in fact, yeah, let's just, let's make another batch of 100. And yeah, I'm going to have to go get some more wood, so not a big deal. We got a little more copper in there. See, I'm going to need some electronics for the scanning equipment. And probably for the the uh, exotic drills too. So I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> it's gonna be close. It's gonna be close. Okay, now um, we uh, still have to make all the paste too. So let's turn all of this into epoxy. And now we should be able to make our final circuit board for the dehumidifier okay let's just make the one for now um, I'm gonna put this in here and let's throw those in there okay so <clears throat> we need just the composites in the glass so the glass I thought I already had some glass made up maybe not did I put it in here? Okay. That's not a problem. What we're going to do is we're going to grab some silica. And we're going to throw that into here. Well, no. Actually, let's do the silica in here because we need to do the composite paste in the other thing. Okay. So that's going to require um, iron. So let's grab like four stacks of iron that I've been hanging on to. And we'll throw those in there. Uh, it's going to require silica. So let's just grab the rest of the silica that we have. And what else do we need? Oh, and more organic resin. So I believe we can use platinum instead of gold ore for this. I've never actually tried that. So let's see if that actually works. We'll put the platinum in here. <clears throat> it doesn't show that it counts hmm all right well let's try some organic resin okay so I must have misunderstood oh no it's just a different recipe oh yeah yeah okay I got you it's just a different recipe. Very cool. All right, let's make 49 of these. And then um, once we do that, uh, we'll still have to cook them up into composites, which we can do. Oh, and we need the glass. Okay, so the glass is cooking up over here. One more. There we go. We got 15 glass. I'm going to cook the rest of that glass, too, because we might need it for the other stuff. So the scanner is going to require only 10 more electronics. That's not terrible. And the drill is going to require 5 more electronics. And I'm going to make 2. So basically we need to be able to make 20 more electronics after this is uh, done. But let's finish <coughs> Excuse me. Let's finish this first so we get the all the quest requirements done. Plus it would be kind of nice to have a dehumidifier in here anyway. You know what though? That generator by itself isn't going to power it. So... We're going to have to disconnect one of these things. Okay, there's some composite paste there. Throw that in there, and... Oh, no, we got to cook it first. My bad. Let's cook it up. Okay, so we have enough now to make uh, the electric dehumidifier. Let's grab that and crap it up. Perfect. Okay, so we will put that, um, somewhere. <laughs> I 
I think some, um, uh, the cave worms like spawn there. Um, yeah, there's not really an, an eloquent place to put this, so I guess we'll put it right there. Very good. Grab the wiring tool out of here. All right. Now, before I disconnect the furnace, um, I need, uh, we need composites for that. We need composites for this. No, we don't. Okay. So we basically just need four more composites and, oh, look at that. I made a bunch of paste. Okay. Well then let's do this. Let's temporarily disconnect the, no, that's not what I want to do. Uh, disconnect the material processor just so we can finish the quest. I'm right clicking on this and it's not doing anything. There we go. Okay. And we will instead connect to there. And that fulfills the quest. And now we have a dehumidifier. So let's take one of these, get rid of that stupid pneumonia that we currently have. And now we need to do two directional lamps. Uh, oh, do those require the composites? Oh, they do. Shit. Okay. Um, and four electronics, aluminum glass. Okay, so let's go grab the glass out of here and the aluminum. Put all that stuff in there. Um. Okay, and then... We just need four electronics. So we should be able to make that from what we have in here if we get some more organic resin. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is grab this wood and all of this. And since I've disconnected the thingamadoodle, uh, let's just make make that stuff in here but I'm actually out of oxide believe it or not it's not something I usually run out of okay well I'm gonna go run and get some oxide I'm probably gonna cut a couple more trees here let's sleep too by the way I uh, need to start the fire okay so I'm gonna go grab some oxide and some wood uh, come back and throw that in there and make the electronics that we need to finish the quest for the two bi bi-directional lights. And then uh, once we're ready to do that, I'll bring you guys back. Okay, guys, we are back and we should have enough to make two directional lights. So let's do that. Now, technically, we should make another generator because we're supposed to be setting these guys up. And I don't think the quest is going to actually make us do that. Um, the generator is, if we did, how many electronics does it require? Generator. Oh, no, we do make that over here, don't we? Um, 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 where is it? Here it is. That'd be another 12 electronics and 8 copper. Hmm. Well, let's just put the lights down and, and finish the quest. How do we know which direction they're going to shine? Oh, I see. Okay, so that's the light bulb there. Gotcha. Okay. So maybe we'll put one there and... We'll put the other one... Can we put it up there? Oh yeah, we'll put the other one up there. Okay, I have no idea how bright these are. Never, never actually made them before. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna disconnect the furnace. I don't know why I have such a hard time with the right click on this. It won't, uh, it won't disconnect. Damn it. Come on, you stupid thing. Oh. 
Well, it helps if you have the actual tool in your hand, but it's still it's still giving me a, a, a hassle. Right click. All right. Well, that disconnected those. Uh, you know what? Actually, now that I think about it, well, how much the power do these use? It doesn't say. All right. Well, here. Let's hook this back up. And then let's hook this up. I guess we have to run off of this junction here. Uh, so let's go here and then here and then here. Anything else? No. Nope. I reckon this one's just about over. Wait a minute though, we didn't hook up the other light. <laughs> it said we were supposed to hook up two lights. Alright, well here, let's do it anyway. It won't power though. Oh, yeah it does, never mind. Just have to turn it on. Alright, cool, so we have completed this quest, you guys. We're gonna get 600 Ren for doing this thing. But, you know, I mean, it took me a long time to do it, of course. Uh, several hours, but that was to be expected. I don't know how many hours in total. Um, and I kind of lost track because, again, I had to leave for a few days on a trip. But anyway, um, the, so the quest is officially over. Well, it will be once we get back to the pod. But I am going to stay here and grind up enough to make a scanner and a couple of drills, uh, you know, so that we can bring uh, come, uh, bloop, come home with some exotics is what my mouth is or my brain is telling my mouth to say, right? Uh, so I think what I'll do is um, probably cut the camera here. And just grind out the rest of this stuff to make this, the radar and the two drills and then scan for it. And then I'll show you guys where the location ends up being. Um, and then uh, probably at the, after I show you that, meet you back at the pod, show you how much I got, and we'll end the episode there. Okay, so I'll be back uh, when we know where our exotic location is. All right, guys, we have found the exotics deposit. It's just right over here. Um, there it is, right there. All right, we've got a uh, mountain lion right over here somewhere. Oh, it's a hyena. Gotta shoot him. And a severe, de severe desert wind. Lovely. All right, so what we're going to do is I brought some stuff along to make a little shelter here. Uh, so put that down there. Grab the walls. And we'll make this here. And put this up here. All right, now uh, I brought this along to make the drills because um, I can't carry the the scanner and the drills at the same time. Uh, so let's actually just put that there, and we should be able to make two drills. Okay, let's put one on the deposit and put the other one on the deposit. Uh, why? Wait, what? Okay, hold on a second. I don't know what's going on with that, but here, let's get this one started. Now, why? Usually it just goes on the other side of the deposit. Okay, well, as long as it works there, that just seems kind of weird as well. Yeah, it's working. Okay, cool. And then, um, I guess I just sit in here until the drills finish. 
So yeah, I'm going to let these drills finish up. And we'll get a full load of exotics. We got 15 from that that uh, cave um, that we found early on. And then once I make it all the way back up to the pod, which is way the heck up here. <laughs> it's going to be such a long run. Um, I'll bring you guys back and we'll finish up this prospect. All right, guys, we are back at the pod, and we ended up with uh, 215 um, exotics. Uh, so not a bad haul, and let's get the hell out of here. So yeah, not a bad mission. Um, in fact, for a 600 Rin mission, this one's, um, it's better than Avalanche, let me put it that way. And the reason being is because you got that super cave nearby and pretty much can get everything you need in that area to, to complete the quest, uh, you know, uh, just for the quest itself. So, and then, you know, it took us another, I don't know, a couple hours maybe to get all the exotics, which is of course optional, but I mean, you have to grind all the way you know, into the tier four stuff anyways, so you might as well get the exotics whilst you're at it. Anyway, uh, let's select our guy and get our payment here. So 600 Rin and 215 exotics. Beautiful. Okay, so that gets us up to 750 on the currency, uh, but we have a lot of exotics there too. So, um, let's see, we are working towards getting this, this bow here. Um, so we'd need a total of 500 exotics to research and craft and then 1750 Rin. So that's pretty damned expensive. Uh, we're also looking at, you know, getting one of these two uh, better picks and one of these two better knives. Oh no, those are spears. I actually really like my skinny knife though. 5760. This has, yeah, this is actually also really good on skinning, uh, but it does a little more damage too. So, anyway, um, yeah, I think uh, we're just going to keep grinding. I, you know, there's no point in selling my exotics when I know I'm going to need, you know, 500 just to, to research and craft. Uh, but, you know, you know, once we got above 500, then we could maybe consider doing that. But um, the bow is the first thing I want. And then probably the pick uh, or the knife would be the second thing I want uh, from these exotics. We might look at some of these seed packs at some point, too. I'm not sure. Um, you know, these these would be good for real quick runs, I guess. Like the anti-poison one would probably be really good for the uh, the dust-up quest. Uh, but anyway, yeah, there we go. All right, guys, well, I'm going to let you go here, and uh, I'm not sure what uh, we'll do in the next mission, but I'm sure we will figure it out. So I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. If you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, and share the video, and we'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.